Hey guys, welcome back to the Russian Guy channel and today we're going to be looking at the cheapest survival multi-tool that you can buy on the Russian Amazon. Let's go! So guys, the reason I bought this tool is because on the channel and in general, I'm doing a lot more um, hiking out and camping stuff. And um, because I've moved to Russia not long ago, I haven't really accumulated a lot of things for camping. And because I'm hiking in, um, I'm quite restricted to weight, so I can't carry um, heaps of stuff on me. So I bought this one because it's a multi-tool, it does a few purposes, it's light, and it's cheap. So yeah, um, we'll see how good it is. I'll let you know at the end and uh, who I think it's suited for. And yeah, let's take a look at it. Inside, we have the axe head, the carrying case, spade head, A saw blade, knife blade, and the handle. So let's start with the carrying case. The carrying case um, feels like a good heavy duty. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart straight away. So that's quite nice. Um, it's got two loops on it so that you can thread it onto your belt and it actually fits very comfortable with the spade head sort of curving to your hip. So it's a good carry case. Um, the saw blade feels like it's made out of um, decent material. It doesn't feel like it's going to bend straight away. The teeth are pretty sharp. We'll see how well they work later on. The knife blade, I think this is one of the cheapest parts of the actual setup. Um, the steel feels pretty flimsy, not very, it's not really good steel. It's not, it doesn't feel sharp at all, but we'll see how that goes. The spade head, decent size, pretty standard. And the ax head, is uh, it's not sharp, but I think it'll do the job. Um, one thing I did notice is that the pipe itself doesn't fit into the axe head straight away, so we are going to have to um, elongate the pipe just a little bit so that it fits in there. And the handle itself is quite a thin diameter which makes it lighter but I don't know if that's going to be a problem with bending, we'll see. The handle is um, a standard grip, it can move around a bit so we'll see if that is a problem or not. One thing that I did um, notice is that in the pictures there is slight differences into what I actually got, for instance the handle um, it looks like a little bit of a, a thicker, higher quality. Um, the axe head has a little um, cutout in it, which is, acts like a bottle opener. Not that I'm very interested in that. And then, yeah, a little bit of difference in here. There's not a, as big a cutout, but besides that, it's pretty much as is shown in the photos. All right, let's see how it fits together. So the knife and the saw blade sort of have a press button. There you go. Um, so they lock in that press button. One thing that is a bit concerning is that there is a lot of uh, free movement in there. We'll see whether that's a problem or not. And that is also how the you flip them around, stick them into the pipe, and that is how 
your shovel head and axe head are fastened to your handle. All of this costs 955 rubles and weighs 850 grams. Um, the size it packs down to in length is uh, 300 millimeters. And when you put the shovel on the end is 425 millimeters. The knife and saw blade are 150 millimeters long. And yeah, so that's the sort of basic, um, the basic information of this. And yeah, let's see how it actually works in real life. So I'm gonna make a fire now, which will require me to use uh, every one of the four attachments and we'll see how they perform. All right guys, we've got some timber here so we can test the saw and the ax out. But first, as I mentioned before, the pipe doesn't fit into the actual ax head. So I'm going to have to elongate this pipe. So it's a little bit of a design flaw in this. So not very good straight off the bat, but we'll see if we can make it work with a bit of touching up. Okay, so with a bit of uh, manipulation, it fits in. We'll insert the saw in to lock it in there, as you can see. So let's see how well this chops through timber. We'll start with something small. Maybe this branch here, let's see. All right, here's the first casualty or malfunction. So it popped off, the head came off. Let's try again, insert it back in. See if we can see what's happening. The axle axe head itself is working well, um, as in the sharpness of it. Um, it's a pretty good length. The handle's wiggling its way off a bit because it's sitting on loose. All right, let's see, keep going. Oop. Coming loose again. So, that's the first branch. Um, it did the job. 
Um, as you can tell, it's <laughs> certainly has its uh, little issues, but we'll talk about them later. Unfortunately, that the head comes loose, that's the biggest problem because you can't really get a lot of momentum because it occasionally just bumps loose and then comes off. Okay, let's see how the saw works. That'd be right. Come on. Comes off better when you're using it as the axe. All right. This will be interesting to see. Alright, so this saw is having a bit of a hard time. That is probably because on these saws generally, they'll make the teeth and they'll have them come out a little bit wider than the actual blade itself. So it's taking out a bit more material than the thickness of the blade. Whereas on this one, it is the same thickness. So it's taking the material out, but as soon as it gets past the teeth, it's just sticking to the side of the blade and it really grips on. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I'll see if I can get through this last bit of the timber. All right, that did it. There you go guys, it bent. Um, this wouldn't be a hard steel, so you could bend it back, but the fact is, because it's a soft steel, it's just gonna bend again. So, I don't think this is gonna finish this cutoff. Looks like I might have to do it with the axe. All right. Let's put the axe head back on. There you go. Come off again. As you can see, the Handles come about halfway off. <sighs> All right, guys, for the sake of testing this out, I'm gonna try chop through this log with it. Um, I really don't know how it's gonna go. It might just be so um, unreliable that it won't chop through it, but we'll give it a shot anyway.
So guys, unfortunately I've had to stop, as you might have seen, um, the axe head had come loose quite a few times in the process of chopping a third of the way through this log. And I just noticed that the actual blade has a wobble in it. It has become loose between the two sections which pinch it together. So it has become unsafe to use, unfortunately. So we'll just have to uh, be a bit creative in how we do our firewood and we'll keep going with the tests. Hey guys, I've got the knife in the end now. Um, it looks a bit strange, it's a bit far away from your hand. Normally you'd have a knife gripped up here, but um, We'll see what we can do with it, see if we can scrape up some birch bark and uh, get a fire started. So guys, we've got the fire built, got a nice hot drink, and I thought I'd give you my thoughts on the cheapest multi-tool on Russian Amazon. All right, let's go over the pros and cons. Uh, one of the pros is price. Um, it's very cheap. And uh, another one of the pros is weight. It is quite light, so it's easier to hike in with. Um, as far as cons go, um, is the quality of it, for instance, the axe, as I said before, the, uh, the blade came loose, it, well, it is coming loose, I should say, and you sort of don't want to be working with a, an axe head that's doing that, and the fact that it would come off the head and 
it didn't fit on out of the box is not very good quality in my opinion. Um, the saw, as you would have seen in the video, it did get a bend in it from jamming and it jammed because it doesn't have the teeth spread so it just cuts out and then it just sticks on the side of your timber. So that's a bit unfortunate. Um, the knife, um, yeah, having it in the end of the pipe is, I would say, pretty useless. Except if you wanted to fend off a wild animal or something, even then I wouldn't trust it. It would probably break. Um, you'd probably bend the knife. Um, the knife isn't sharp, very sharp at all. I had a bit of, bit of a tough time trying to scrape the uh, birch bark, but we got there eventually. It, it will do the job. Um, but as you saw, I took it out of the pipe and I was holding it up on the blade to do that. It did a good job at actually sparking the, it's got a nice square edge. So for using a flint, it does a good job at that. If you are into using flints, I think the spade is the most um, usable tool out of it. When I was using it to dig the fire pit, it was quite um, quite comfortable. Um, you know, for a small spade, it did, did a pretty good job. Um, you know, it didn't come loose. So that's the best out of the heads for it. One thing I would definitely do um, if I keep this is you put some sort of glue on this handle so it doesn't twist or come off like that because in a lot of the jobs that you do, it just will twist or when you're using the ax, it slips out. It's not very, uh, not very helpful at all. Um, the bag. I think is pretty good quality, the carrier. Um, I have no complaints about that, especially for the price. Okay, who do I think this is for and who do I think it's not for? Well, let's start with who do I think it's not for. If you're somebody who goes camping all the time or you really want a high quality product, this isn't the, this isn't the tool for you. Um, it's, it's a cheap tool, it's made cheap and produced cheap. So you get what you pay for basically. Um, if you're someone who just goes hiking um, regu like irregularly, like a once off thing or you want an emergency tool, it will do the job to a certain extent. Um, Although in an emergency, I probably wouldn't want to rely on this to start a fire. Let's say I was stuck in winter and, you know, I had to chop wood and stuff. If this fails on you, it's no good as an emergency backup. So if you are someone who just a bit like me, who doesn't have very much free money and you want just something basic, you know, you're really just... If you're just starting out in a camping sort of field or you're just getting into it, it will get you through for a little while, but I think it'd be better just to save up a little bit and invest in some better tools. Because as far as it, like if you wanted a spade, you could use it solely for the spade function and then pay the full price, it does a pretty good job at a light camping spade. And it's fairly compact in size. But as far as the rest of the attachments, I don't think it's worth carrying it for those. It's just too much weight and not useful enough. So that's my review on this multi-tool. I still have to decide whether or not I'm going to keep it. Um, I guess you guys will find out in upcoming videos whether I still have it or not. You'll find out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, feel free to give it a th big thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can subscribe to my channel and 
keep up to date with what I'm doing here in Russia. And yeah, if you'd like to support me, I have links down below to Patreon and other options. And I am also working on a car project that I'm saving up for. If you'd like to support that, feel free to. It's much appreciated. I'm gonna finish my hot drink, then I'll um, pack this fire up so it doesn't spread anywhere. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. So the guys that watched my last video know that my small little tripod broke, one of the legs fell off. Well, I took that home and uh, managed to fix the leg. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit shorter now, but uh, that's no big problem. It still works great. <laughs>